Good. Right. God, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakodash, the honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, you brothers preaching his word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. Come, come. Uh, this is the uh, GMS branch here in Gary. Uh, coming to you with a little lesson. Uh, titled this one, Lord Will, will be, We Shall Be Satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know, and Lord willing, you know, we say it humbly, but uh, we know through prophecy, through precepts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, the Lord is going to take care of his elect in the times to come. We know that Jacob's trouble is on the way. We know that the prophecies are rolling down the pipe, you know, as, as we speak. And um, Jacob's trouble has to come. In order for the kingdom of heaven to come, tribulation must come. All right, to the camps that say, oh, there's no, no such thing as Jacob's trouble. It already happened. No, it's going to happen. It said, through much tribulation, we shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. Now, with that being said, he's also going to make a way for his elect in the times to come. He's going to comfort us. We're going to be satisfied. We're going to eat in times of famine. So, uh, without further ado, this is definition of satisfied to start off. Con, con, you got it wrong. It's definition of satisfying the Edamon, it says um uh to fulfill, <laughs> to comply with a, a command, um a hung, a hunger or thirst. Mm. All right. Mm. To make reparation. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Mm. Wait, say read that again. To okay. make uh, all of it. Mm -hmm. It says uh to fulfill a desire. To fulfill a desire. Yeah. It says, uh, satiate a hunger or thirst. Mm -hmm. yeah, or repay. Make reparation. To make reparation. Mm -hmm. That's my Or idea. make amends. And addressing what the brother just said, the people that are, we already went through Jacob's trouble. Yeah, yeah Jacob went through trouble back then, but this mm -hmm. we talk about in Daniel 12. This day is going to be like no other day that, that the earth has ever, had the earth has ever seen. Mm -hmm. And we also know that Esau eat him. He puts it on face, like on the back of the dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody got a dollar? It's a like num numeral ordo. Ordo socorro. Ordo mm -hmm. socorro. Uh, uh, he he favors our or enterprise or with success. Mm -hmm. So we understand that he has to first collapse the current system mm -hmm. in order to rebirth his own system. Gone. Well, how is that going to happen? And we already know how it's going to happen. So during that time, that's going to be the day of Jacob's trouble, the day that no uh, no man have seen since the earth has begun. Gone. And we're going to be satisfied not only in that day, but after that day, mm -hmm. you know, and forevermore. Mm -hmm. I got the word for uh, tribulation of the, the Greek. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, to lift uh, this, if I'm saying that correctly, a pressing, pressing together pressure, mm -hmm. metaphor, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. Mm -hmm. Damn, straits. Mm -hmm. It says persecution. Because that's part of going through the straits, going to yeah. tribulations. Hey, they know... We know we can see right now Esau is ready to play the blame game. Mm -hmm. You know, I was meditating on earlier in the spirit. You know, Esau like the nigga. You know, y'all watch the movie New Jack City. Mm -hmm. You know, Nino Brown. <laughs> you know, he. You know, he's trying to push everybody out. Mm -hmm. Cause right now what he's doing through his media, he's airing all the you know Jake's dirt out. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers that's underneath him and they dirt. Yeah. To yeah. try to hide himself, yeah, of course, yeah. and trying to escape off into the sunset. Yeah, exactly. And then what happened to Nino Brown at the end of the movie? Mm -hmm. He still got his ass smoked, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and it's the same thing for happening this devil, man. You know, mm -hmm. I just want to make a little side note, you know. God, if you read a little bit down and that's satisfy. Mm -hmm. uh, so make amends. You talking about no, uh, keep going. It goes into like the, the breakdown of the status. Um, let me see. Well, I could, I could read it. Yeah, you can read it. Go ahead. You got it. It says, uh, this is from status, uh, which I'm not sure if that's Latin. It might be Latin. It says uh, enough. So satis and then fi comes from facare, I, I believe, or facere, which means to make do or perform. Mm -hmm. So he's going to make do or perform enough mm -hmm. for us to come. And Lord knows how it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? We know in part, we prophesy in part. So we can only speculate or assume how it's going to be. But he told us that, oh, we can get it now, but uh, we're going to be satisfied. Huh? We have to pray for you. This is Proverbs 19 and 23. It says, The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, God. and he that hath, hath it 
shall abide satisfied. Mm. He shall not be visited with evil. What it say? Uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 36. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. So think, so think that that fear of the Lord is our treasure because mm -hmm. this treasure is going to lead to what? It said attentive to life. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it hath what? The fear of the Lord shall abide satisfied. <laughs> so those that fear the Lord, you know what I'm saying? That fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that, that are trying their best to please him daily, to be on his good side. In, in return, he's going to give us the insurance with that we're not going to be visited with evil. Mm -hmm. Come, we're going to be fulfilled. That we're going to be fulfilled. Because if we are visited with evil, we're going to deliver us. Exactly. Because that tribulation, Esau wants that tribulation to happen so he can tempt you to fall, to fall into his system. Mm -hmm. See, he's the one that's setting up the system. You know, he's setting up chaos to, to you know, to get people to, you know, to be distressed so he can tempt them into bowing the knee to his yeah. new world order, you know? You know? Absolutely. Easier to control a man that's unstable. God. God. Hey, fear is a big weapon. Hey, like, you know, we, the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. it, it's, when you fear somebody, they persuade you with your way of thinking God. out of that fear. You know, like, I, I ain't for do that shit. Because you fear this, you know, the result of if you do that, this could happen. Yeah. Hey, fear is the highest uh, form of respect. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you fear hey, that's why the Lord said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom man that's why we fear the Lord man mm -hmm. you know? we don't we don't fear you know Esau Edom man and his uh, devices we fear the Lord man mm -hmm. you know and that's what it's about man alright uh, we got uh, Job 5 and uh, 19 okay. Uh, okay. Job 5 and 19 okay. uh, and it says uh, in the KJV, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Mm -hmm. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And think he delivered us from all the prior captivities. And in the current captivity we're in under Esau Edom, he's going to deliver us from the same. That's right. It says in verse 20, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. That's right. And in war, from the power of the sword. Mm -hmm. hey, and even if our personal walk, man, brothers could attest, hey, the Lord did it, redeemed us in times. Now, even sure. in our personal walk, and those we can reflect on that in the times of trouble, as you know, to, to comfort us to know, hey, hey, the Lord, He He came through for me at this time in my walk in my life God, mm -hmm. when I was in the faith. How much more now? Right. You know, and how would the Lord, how would the Lord would otherwise show His power you if He don't put you right. in a position you where you got to depend upon Him? You know, mm -hmm. exactly. It's a friend that's proven. Mm -hmm. You got to prove a friend. Yep. Con. Hey, see the credit of it. <laughs> God. God. It says, uh, Joel 5 and 21, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Damn, now thou shalt be afraid. Ooh. So when it comes, you don't know the Lord got us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't be hid from the scourge of the tongue, man. So whatever people uh, slander, how people slander us. Like, man, I know my Lord is true, you know? Yeah, and even if they do, because we know that's coming too, the... the they're going to be locking up the prophets or those that fear the Lord. But it said what? How was I told us not not to basically fear, you know, loosely paraphrasing that uh, he's going to give us words in our mouth that no man could gainsay nor resist. He's going to he's going to give us the words to speak. Hey, we might not speak at all, but just know we're going to be OK. Exactly. Yeah, the Lord doing so far now, like you go to an interview. Facts. You don't know exactly <laughs> what you're gonna say and how you're yeah. gonna play out. You could you could play it parts of your mind. Like, okay, if he asked this, what's what I'm gonna say? Then you get to the interview. Everything you played in your mind, right, right, right. nothing, no, like, nothing, no, nothing like it. Yeah, yeah. And, but yet the Lord gave you the spirit yeah. to say the right things to get the job. That's it. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. or just to show up. Yeah. Facts. You know, that's what fear is. Fear is simulations played out in your mind mm -hmm. of how you think it's gonna happen. Yeah. And then you start to get scared, scared yeah. of the circumstances. But if you just go in with an empty slate, and have faith in the Lord. That's it. Whatever happens, happens. That's it. Like what the guy Sharam always say, don't worry about what, what if, mm -hmm. worry about what is. He exactly. is. God. Exactly. You know? God. Uh, Job 5 and 22. Uh, this is the point. It says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Mm -hmm. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Mm -hmm. And think, going back to that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind. You think, uh, well, me speaking as a man, I believe Rosie was... Um, a representation of the elect mm -hmm. and look at her she she never really got too far off square mm -hmm. even when she saw them deer she was just kind of looking mm -hmm. it was she was actually intrigued by the deer yeah. you know and then towards the latter end of the movie yeah. you know she had uh came across the bunker mm -hmm. 
so she was satisfied in that time, and she got to watch her show <laughs> that she was longing to see. Hey, it's good to say I should make the I should make the be the beast in the field and leave with me. Yeah, God. 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 Hey, if you if I may, the two uh, girls that were, that saw the deer, what was they doing? They was panicking. They was panicking. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they was screaming at the deer. And all that oh deer. yeah, Con, yeah. yeah and, and that shows that you know uh, they not gonna be you know uh, had to have no type of side of it. Satisfy, you know, satisfaction. satisfaction. They yeah. don't have that. Uh, thirty three. <laughs> yeah, God, they weren't stable. You know. Hey, you gotta think, deers. If you understand the spiritual aspect of deers, right. deers don't know to escape danger. Mm-hmm. That's why it's, that's one of Esau's prized game to, to hunt because mm-hmm. it's hard to catch that. But because he knows, he's always on his watch. Exactly. Yeah. A deer is not gonna approach a pond or a yeah. stream of water without. Yeah. Look, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna peep the scene first. It's that's not right. gonna be like, oh, yo, let's go get yeah. some water. <laughs> Esau is known as a deer. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah thirteen. Ooh. Esau is known as a chase rope. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be trying to escape that destruction. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not gonna escape. But we're gonna be the chase rope. Like we're gonna be able to escape the destruction. Yeah. It's mighty. And deer represents food. Deer is yeah, yeah. And they always buy a water source. God. God. They they dwell by the lakes and, and creeks. <laughs> You know, it is mighty too that you say that, that you mention that, because I, I believe at that time when the two, when the two women, they were actually looking for her, looking for, yeah, looking for, the for Rosie. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. find her. She was yeah. ducked off. She was cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good luck to What's up? God. So, Read it. Read it. Oh, you got it. You got yeah. it, bro. <laughs> and as I was looking up, you know, a because everything's spiritual at the end of the day. It says, dear spiritual meaning, dear is unknown for their gentleness and grace, mm-hmm. often symbolizing innocence and purity. Damn. They're mm-hmm. calm and gentle, natural, connect connect them with the softer side of life, mm-hmm. making them a symbol of love and kindness in many cultures. Spiritually, dear signify a new beginning or a fresh start. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's cold. Yeah. Damn. That's cold. Yeah, fresh start, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's mighty. You know, I was thinking of the brother about that movie, you know, which I ain't checking out myself, but you know, yeah. but Deers can fight. That's like, yeah, yeah, yeah spoiler. Are right. yeah. uh, we gonna hit uh, Psalms thirty-seven? Mm-hmm. I gotta say, uh, let me start at sixteen. You got it. Uh, Psalms thirty-seven and sixteen. A little, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Mm. All right, so don't, you know, a lot of brothers are like, man, I don't do enough. Well, yeah, you don't do enough according to the grace of the Lord, but that little that you do do is better than just being wicked, you know, better than these celebrities. And these yeah. motherfuckers that take Esau's, Esau's bag, okay. you know, just be, just, just try to increase on that little. Tyler Perry. Oh, that Tyler Perry mention? Oh, bro. That was a missile food. Because <laughs> I told him, I'm like, think, all these sellouts, they did all that. They got their consolation, all that shit, just to be burnt up. Which it was nice. Don't get me wrong. That shit was massive. It had lands. It pales in comparison. Right. It's, it pales in the comparison what Esau have. And it, you said what? I was going to say, at the end of the day, they not even satisfied. Uh, yeah, they, they not, not going to be satisfied. <laughs> they not even satisfied in the wickedness they do. <laughs> they not satisfied. That's why they... Keep buying stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, they want their house bigger. It's already big, but yeah. you want it bigger. You try to exactly. numb their pain. Yeah, what the fuck? Is. All the wickedness they had to do even get that to house that they got. And what, what's the All first the thing that they say when, when somebody calls them out and they BS like, you're not even happy with yourself? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not happy. Look what I achieved. What, you, what have you achieved? Mm-hmm. You achieved right. nothing. Look at you. You're a nobody. I have a house. I have this. I have this. They started going into what their possessions. Yeah. What about um, you, they're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what about you as a person? Hey, we just keep the shit, man. Hey, what what good is a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? Yeah, lose his yeah. soul, man. And that's uh, exactly uh, <laughs> you know the, yeah. the the key, man. They lose their soul. Yeah, you got the material gain. You know what I'm saying? But you emptying it on the inside. Yep. You man. know, you empty as hell, man. Because why? Because you uh, always thinking about the shit that you you know. Yep. Uh, uh, had to do what the shit that you yeah. did, you know, mm-hmm. to gain that shit. Absolutely, man. and then also Esau, uh, which is already these demons, they got you by a chain and ball, man, on exactly. your foot. Yeah, you know, God, you're not free. You're not free. <laughs> you know, you're not free. You can't speak the truth. You know, yep, you can't speak the truth. You yeah. gotta know what they want you to do. Exactly. You know. Yep. And mm-hmm. then you'll play ball. Mm-hmm. Look what they do to you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Look at DMX, prime example. Yeah. Or you, yeah, you try to. Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. You try to expose, they'll kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So so someone like, fuck it, whatever. To kill me then. I'm tired of this shit, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why I believe... Uh, <laughs> like, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, like, fuck it, kill me then. That's why I believe Kanye, I think he's out of there. Because he said, he said, if I come back, it's not me. Something like that. Yeah, Kanye. I think he's been to Gucci man too. Look at Gucci. <laughs> no, he was he was Yeah. He tired of it, bro. You tired like me. I'm tired of the rule of my life. And yeah. they know the truth now. Yeah. They seen the profits. Yeah. They cut. They like, fuck. I did all this and I let the small hat drill me for this. Mm-hmm. That's why he was going in on them. Well I slept I, 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 I had to drink this damn goat blood that, you know. Yeah, or cool. pop this nine year old. Baby, or killed this baby, drink yeah, the blood. Shit, he admitted that his mom's was a yeah, sack. Yeah. Mm, a sack you know shit. what? You know? <laughs> sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> First 18. <laughs> or uh, Psalm 17. 17, 17 yeah. Psalms 37 and 17. Uh, let me read 16. Yeah. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken. Arms was all go so arm to arm yourself goes into protection. It says, But the Lord upholdeth the righteous. So we're the we're the Lord is our protection. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall be they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. God. But the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of the lambs. Of lambs, they shall consume. It says they shall consume into smoke. They shall consume. I'm sorry. They shall consume into smoke. Shall they consume away? It was so crazy. He said famine because a lot of these people that got money, mm-hmm. they pride themselves. They like to take photos of what they eating, oh, yeah. what they dining and all that. Even just low level niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every time they go out, niggas ain't eating. I'm mm-hmm. eating, eating good, eating good, be mm-hmm. living you know? good, eating good, yeah. wearing good. See, that's what the revelation says. It says, uh, "We can afford." When you do what the love of the devil wants you to do, you can afford the best of clothes, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. the best women, oh, yeah. best food, oh, the yeah. best living arrangements, sure. the best vehicles. Mm-hmm. You know, these niggas, like look at Kobe Bryant. That nigga didn't drive. They say he really drove. He rode helicopters. Yeah. They skipped the LA, to escape the LA traffic. Exactly. Yeah, that nigga, and, his, and his delight took him out. Yeah. Along with your seed, nigga. Mm-hmm. He was a proud nigga. Yeah. Of course. It was shows you that that worldly accomplishment, that trophy that you... You know, you, you 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 know been an asshole to many players to get. Mm-hmm. You know, fucked a lot of people over to get. Mm-hmm. Show yeah. it was all in vain, nigga. I think it was a video I seen with Michael Michael Jordan, chameleon. Now when he was hot, went to a Michael Jordan party. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Hey, Mike, can I get a picture with you?" He was like, "Uh, what do you say?" He said, "Uh, no, nigga, fuck that. I don't take pictures with niggas. Mm-hmm. I don't take pictures with niggas." He was like, "Well, I just bid it seven thousand dollars on on your jersey." He said, look, man, you can get it. If you give me $15,000 right now, you get a jersey from me. You get a jersey from me. And then he said, Paul Pierce and Ray Allen was tapping him like, hey, man, this chameleon. Is. He's like, man, I don't give a fuck who this nigga is. He a nigga. He a broke nigga. Wow. I'm like, damn, you couldn't even get a picture because he a so-called broke nigga. Mm-hmm. You know? It's, that's the pride of these niggas, man. But if he was Esau trying to get a picture, the owner, the owner of the NBA mm-hmm. trying to get a motherfucking picture. Mm-hmm. Then you would have given them quick, fast yeah. and hurry. So, okay. so the one I got. Uh, this is Matthew ten. Gosh. Matthew ten. And uh, thirty nine. Gosh. So one. Matthew ten. Thirty nine. 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 Thirty it says, he that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my name's sake, or for my sake, shall find it. Hey, lose the life for the Lord, hey, the young rich ruler. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I talked to you about this earlier, man. Just, you know, talking about how, you know, I was telling the brother, you know, I'm at the gig. Just overhearing, you know, Jake, vain conversation, you know, old ass man talking about, I'm saving all this and my money. Seven years old. I'm saving, I'm saving, the interest. Now that he never even come to the conclusion, nigga, he's seven. Mm-hmm. Why are you saving all this money for at any moment you, you can cope? Yeah. Even us being at a young age. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with, you know, saving a little thing, you know, mm-hmm. just to, you know, help you. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, but, bills, yeah. yeah, immediate mm-hmm. bills, yeah. Yeah, immediate bills, but what's your end goal? Yeah. Yeah. You, you save, 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 save. Mm-hmm. Then what? Then what? You die. 
Exactly. And he pass all that savings back to Esau. Because mm-hmm. he ain't going to pass that shit down to your family. Mm-hmm. Uncle Sam will be right there to collect all your shit. That's mm-hmm. why they got death certificates. To make oh, sure yeah. you're dead so they can take all your goddamn money. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But it shows like it's, it's vanity at the end of the day. That's why Solomon said vanity. Mm-hmm. No vanity. Yeah, All this vanity, oh, bro. Oh, you know, mm-hmm. what, what he said at the end, he's like uh, to serve the Lord, to know the Lord is the is the meaning of life. Mm-hmm. This, this, is, is, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get you to know the most. Sir, the Lord. Ecclesiastes Keep twelve. You got it, bro. Yeah, I got you. It's uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and verse thirteen. It reads, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man." Right. That's yeah. the meaning of life. Come. That's the meaning of life. Fear the Lord. That's Keep it. His commandments. Look, look why? Serving the Lord is going to teach you how to live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's going to lead to eternal life. Come. He made. He he, he patented the life that Come. you live. Mm-hmm. When oh. you patent something, hey, this is the manual of how to how to how to best service it. Mm-hmm. You know, everything you get, you get a blueprint, you get a patent, you get instructions, you get a manual of how, what's the best possible way to to uh, to have it to take care of it. <laughs> hey, it's why you said it because I'm watching the dude. You know, you know, Jake be kind of why you know it's wisdom. You know, some a lot of Jake be knowing some shit. You know, dudes mm-hmm. about the herbs. He said, you know, you realize every he says life with even within the cells of our body. Mm-hmm. He said you don't have to tell a particular cell in your body. It just, no, just it, do it, it. it designed yeah. to just do it without even. It yeah. says certain cells won't even do nothing unless another cell tell it to do yeah, it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Which lets you know there's a system it's within the system. Everything's in order, yeah, bro. In order. Yeah, Even within balance. your body, bro. Yeah. Like, that's cold. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I ain't never, you know. You got to tell your head to grow? Mm-hmm. Grow hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, what did it say? It's, uh, I think it's in the scripture saying, why would, uh, it said, you can't, you cannot add one cubit to your, to yeah, your statue. To your statue, yeah. You know, yeah. but you take this idol and serve it. God. Hey, it's like, they ever see that movie? It's a cartoon when it came back with Chris Rock. It's like, Osmosis Jones. Osmosis Jones, yeah. yeah. God, God, like God, a life God. within the body. Yeah. yeah. They had like cities and shit. Like, Osmo- Osmosis cells, they, they fight off infection. Yeah. I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know, yeah. Osmosis is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a form of uh, purification. This is what the cells do yeah. when they when they when they cycle off. They, they do you know they, they die and they, they multiply. That's called osmosis. It's kind of watched the movie like a couple like a couple weeks ago. I'm like this shit is <laughs> raw as hell. Like <laughs> a lot of those creators of those cartoons be uh, in that field. Yeah. They be like because uh, the the creator of SpongeBob was a marine biologist. Mm. So I'm assuming that I can I can safe to assume that the creator of uh, Osmosis Jones was probably in the health field. Mm-hmm. That's mighty. mighty. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> was that it to this? One people want. No, that was it to that. Uh, there was one I wanted. Oh, Kai. Okay. Did you want to uh, expound on that? Because I just read it through. Nah, that was the point. Yeah, you can read it again if you want. 1920 and... Yeah, 19 and 20. It says... Uh, what Psalms 37, 19 and 20. Mm-hmm. For uh, verse 19, it says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Mm. That's coming. The evil time is what? Jacob's trouble. Yeah. The days of famine is also Jacob's trouble, but hey, but it's uh, Isaiah 60, 60. That's the spirit. That's what I was going to go ahead. <laughs> Verse 20, it says, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume. Into smoke shall they consume away. Yeah. You know, everybody know fat get melted down. Yeah. <laughs> Things gonna get melted. <laughs> big ass, ass, like the apostle would call it, he said, big ass Shirley's. Let me read the first the first verse. It says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. <laughs> That's mighty, bro. I used to actually read this to myself when I uh when I saw Esau living lavishly in like Crown Point, although oh, yeah. me growing in knowledge, they low level either. They low level. But they have all that land, everything I don't have, and instead of the third, and they have all of this. But I used to read this to myself, like, fret not against the evil doers because these things don't get cut down. Because you. Uh, you know, no, I was going to say, because you think, like, in the script, like, in, I believe it's in the Apocrypha, it tells you that uh, those that be in the city, they're going to perish by the sword, and those that try to escape away in the. In the forest and shit, in the woods, they're gonna die from lack of lack of food. Lack of food, yeah. You know. Hey. You it's mighty because you say that because you know I was like that too. I'm gonna talk. You know, you, you know, young. Yeah, yeah. In the world, you'll go to like a nice high end restaurant trying to you know impress your girl. Keep up with the Joneses. Keep up with the Joneses. Mm-hmm. You look at the bill like, damn. 
And you know, back in your head, I can't really afford fuck, this place. Yeah. You got the money to pay for it, but you like, fuck it. I just want to impress some, you know. You know, and then you'll see a motherfucker and you'll look in a corner. A group of faggites, you know, just sitting yeah. there. Sit you know, swirling some wine. <laughs> laughing, you know, mm-hmm. tipping big. You know, you like, damn. You know, like. You know, you my mama and that shit like that, so you be getting teary, but when you came to this truth, you realize they all they, oh, they finna be destroyed. Yeah. They got their consolation up. Cause these people proud. When you go to these like these special like get government jobs, hospitals, oh, yeah. you talk to these doctors, these physicians, these different people in the world, these people are fucking these lawyers, these judges, mm-hmm. even these cops is be mm-hmm. young, proud, bro. You can oh, just yeah. see the way they walk just just it's pride, bro. Mm-hmm. Even just going to the gym, you go to the gym, you see motherfuckers oh, yeah, yeah. cut up more Especially. so than you. You know, not to say some brothers are cut, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but we know brothers of the faith are humble with it. Mm-hmm. But you know, these people that they, they pride themselves and their health and their diet, they proud. Yeah. So what you gonna do, nigga, when all that, you know, because you gonna lose your wits when, when your stomach touching your back. Yeah. <laughs> now you're not gonna get 102 grams of protein yeah, per day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then what? Mm-hmm. They show you the used to watch the video broke out dudes that are like, yes, what like eating a day. Right. We get too much protein we keep it like in America, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they be they beef up the food with protein. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, let me get this Sirach. So real quick, Sirach 9 and 11. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what his end shall be. Damn. Thou knowest oh, not what it now thou knowest not what shall be his end. And that's a wise man. A wise man will, will consider that, like, hey, don't you don't want to live that? Because you know some guys be like, man, read I it. wish I had this woman. Then read the next verse. God. I wish I had this woman. I wish I had that woman. I wish I didn't I say you don't, don't want to say that, bro, because you know you got the woman you got for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you could have you could have her, but then you got a whole nother uh, yeah, legion of demons that come on. The wow. next one. Kind. Like the uh, Psalms. I mean, say Psalms. Sirach nine. And twelve, delight not in in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember they shall not go and punish unto their grave. Yeah, because coming into the truth, you you might feel like uh, you might feel like in the world you're you're losing, yeah. not losing, but you're you're missing out on something. You're missing out because especially being young, mm-hmm. I remember being young in the truth, and I'm like, cause. When you're young in the truth, you have you have certain innate things that you want to do, which we all we all know. We all want we all want wives. We all want women to pop. But then we 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 uh, like we, it's, sometimes I feel like you're held at a disadvantage because you can't do this or you can't do that. Mm-hmm. You can't have this one because you don't smoke weed. You can't have this one because you you know you're not you don't have the experience enough to say, well, I don't I don't want that. I'm like, man, I want to pop that bitch. But then. You grew up in the truth. Mm-hmm. Like, man, that bitch want to eat for me. You know what I'm saying? Because you satisfied. Because you satisfied. <laughs> you satisfied. Hey, if I mean, hey, even before you come into the faith, because you got some brothers, you know, I might, you know, they come into like later on. Later on in life. At the experience of youth, and then the laws will protect you then, even in your English. Uh, yeah. You want to like, damn, what the fuck? I, you know, what, what's to me? I'm not like, you know, bad looking dude. You know, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. you, you never understood, and then you know, you came to the faith, you be like. No, the Lord's just protect you. That you don't yeah, even know Lord, what that. Yeah, that bitch probably had yeah. demons, or <laughs> chlamydia, or yeah. HIV. You never yeah. know. Yeah. God knows what. Well, you probably would have fucked the bitch. She probably put you on all kinds yeah. of child support. And, you know. I always say like when brothers be like, man, I know man, you got a good wife. You got a good wife. I'm like, look, bro, you know her as my wife, <laughs> and she may look, she may look and seem good. Like, but mm-hmm. I, that's my wife. So, yeah. <laughs> I know. So, I know the demon side. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. act all nice and, yeah. and yeah. sweet when you around. They may fix your plate and keep the house all nice and clean on the outward appearance. But bro, hey, when she don't get her way, she do this, then the third. No, she bro, she do that. Oh, bro, I can never. I never see it. Yeah, you will never see it. She never let you see it. Even like, even like, or well, because <laughs> it's a different situation. But even growing up, yeah, like uh, yeah. with your friends, yeah, yeah. With, with your mother. Yeah. Your friends would be like, damn, you, you got a so decent nice. ass mom. Yeah, she's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you don't know my mother how, you know what I'm saying? Hero by night. Nah, I know. Feeling by <laughs> Hero by night. Hey, hey, that's by like my girl, bro. She she is child, child care provider. And she asked to work with my mom. I said, I wouldn't do that if I was you. She's like, what? Why not? You don't want to see you with them. Like, she seemed that way, but <laughs> I'm my mother. Yeah. She said, why, why wouldn't I like working with her? I said, I can't pinpoint it. I just know her. <laughs> I said, I, honestly, I can't pinpoint it. 
But I wouldn't do it if I was you. But I wouldn't. Because she actually asked me, would you mind me working with you? (laughs) Would you mind me? I said, (laughs) but I said my mouth was, I don't mind you. Like, I don't mind you working with my mother. But even if y'all end up getting into it, I wouldn't care because I don't don't mind. But you're going to mind. Yeah. Like, why would I mind? I can't, <laughs> You're good I can't give you a, a clear clarification why you gonna mind, but she will. But now, two years into it, now she minds. Now, now she, she hates her job. Now she, the job she's been doing for ten years, this is the first time in her life when she hated. I said, I told you so. She's like, I'm gonna listen to you, whatever, mm-hmm. whenever you say something like this again. But hey, you never know the end of a man, man. Yeah. So don't don't even don't even just consider the things that just that you consider, man. Yeah, I gotta agree. It's yeah. actually a, it's like an old tale. It's an old story of uh, yeah. uh, something happened to his son. He fell off the horse and broke his back, and he was paralyzed. And then all the villagers told him, "Was like, I'm sorry, what happened to your son? Is it so such a bad thing?" He said, "Well, I can't tell if it's a bad thing or not. I can't call it. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse." And everything that kept happening to this man, his his response stayed the same. I can't tell if it's a blessing or a curse because every blessing, every curse ended up being a blessing, and every blessing ended up being a curse. Like his son broke his back. Then the imperial, the imperial guards came. They're like, "Well, we're drafting every able-bodied man in the military. We're at war. Well, my son can't fight because his back is broken. So yeah. that curse ended up being a blessing. Then he was blessed with a lot of sheep, but there was a drought. The grass thing we couldn't feed the sheep. Damn. So it was mighty because that's a wise man will consider. Like I can't tell. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. Yeah, I don't right. know. Never know. Yeah, a, wise, know. a wise man understand that you can't receive the blessings without the curses. Like mm-hmm. Joe. Like Joe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you understand that shit. If you had all this time, you know, a blessing, the Lord blessing you for so long, it's only right that, you know, you receive, you know, the bad part. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, it's a spirit sack. I'll talk to uh, a, 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 a homie of mine, and you try to explain his situation. Like, you know, you know he ain't going. I'm going through. He's like, bro, whatever you going through is what you going through. Is yeah. For you. Mm-hmm. You. Just because you may not be at a certain level financially or this or that, it's suitable for you because you don't know oh, the demons and what brother's going through. That guy loves something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may have, you know, because some you know, people always want to, well, he got a family, he got a wife. You don't understand the struggle that comes with that. Yeah. Yeah. Or have a dude that got a business. Yeah. Oh, he got a business. He oh, yeah. good. You don't under- understand you the stress. And you're only going to understand that to cut you out. You're only going to understand until you get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The Lord put you through that time. It's just like me. Shit, I shit, I went to I'm damn near forty to have a son. You know, and I'm looking at the uh my brothers, like everybody having nineteen kids, fourteen kids, you know. And I said, damn, only if I get one, you know. And I got that one, that shit like, damn, you know. Yeah. You know, but it was the experience that I had to go through. The Lord told me like, hey, look here, you said you wanted it, now this is what's going on. Now you gotta, you know, and it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard as hell. It, even with businesses. I look at people and, they, you know, with businesses, you say, oh, man, I want that, you know? Hey, then when you get it, you know, you're like, damn, I ain't know it was like this. So what it is, you find a new form of respect for people who had that, mm-hmm. for how to, you know, who had those things, man. I actually you went know? to the liquor store and I told the, the Indian, he's, he's, he's Indian, he's Elan. I said, man, I was, me a, I was bullshitting. Mm-hmm. Man, let me get me a liquor store, man. I'll do it, man. I'll do it. He's like, no, you didn't yeah. know what the liquor store. Yeah. <laughs> he said, it's hard yeah. business. I, it worked my way up. It this. is. Yeah. He said, I would not recommend anybody this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was shit. like, hey, He's being real. <laughs> Even Elon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He might be Jake. <laughs> and it's the truth, man. Because shit, look what you got to do. You got to deal with the customers. You know, you got to deal with wine and motherfuckers drunk all the damn time. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You probably have to put them up for the debt, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Stealing. You know, you, you never know. What, you know, you got to deal with what, what somebody else got the patience to deal with. <laughs> shit, you might not have the patience. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you have to consider all that. You know, you have to consider, you know, you know the, the joyous times. And you also have to consider, you know, the, you know, the low times. Oh, yeah. If, yeah. I, if I may, I got a quick pre. Just okay. to hit on the point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Topic. Good it's Ecclesiastes 31 and 1. Watch it for riches. Riches consumeth the flesh. Ecclesiastes and, 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 uh, Sirach. Ecclesiasticus. 31 and 1. Watch it for riches consumeth the flesh. Right. And the care thereof right. drive away sleep. Exactly. Watching care will let no man slumber and a sore disease break up sleep. 
the rich have great labor in gathering riches together, and when he rests, he fills it with his delight. You or know, delicates. With, with his delicates. Mm -hmm. The poor labors in his poor estate, and when he leaveth off, he still is needy. He that love a gold shall not be justified, and he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. Gold have ruined, have been the ruin of many's, and their destruction was present. You know, hey. You know, like the brother going is the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes yeah. it mean, it's good, you know. Maybe it's blessed to be poor at times. It is. You, know? you ain't got to worry yeah. about shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah. 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 You know, you ain't got to think about it. Motherfucker. You know, hey, Mike Tyson said something wise. Mm -hmm. So they asked an interview. He said, what was the most, he said, what was your best moment in your life? Oh, he, he said, when I was in prison. Yeah. He said, dude, look that way. Why? He said, that's when I had my peace. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I didn't have to worry about anything. Exactly. He said, I had my peace. I didn't worry about the fame. I didn't worry about nothing, none of that. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. Yeah. He said, that was the most peace. Money, he said, I didn't get nobody no money. He said, he said, he said yes, your sanity yeah. is more precious than anything. For sure. Mm -hmm. And he, I'm like, I was, you know, I was woo, like, damn, that, you, you know. You can see on my Tyson's face, his, his expression, he's a troubled man. Yeah. He got some troubled thoughts. Because you think at the Lord is about duality and balance. So anything you look at could have its pros and its cons. Yeah. You know, it's just a matter of perspective, how you're looking at it. Hey, like I was watching the, uh, recently I was watching the, you know, the, um, the Michael Jordan or the Bulls series. Mm -hmm. You know, what's that called? The Last Dance. The Last Dance. It was an episode with Michael sitting in his, in his hotel. He like, you know what? It's the only piece I had all fucking week mm -hmm. until you guys showed up. And they laughing, but he was serious. He was dead ass. He was dead <laughs> ass. Until you guys showed up. Because you got to think that the amount of, the, the dude, he, as they talking, they like, I couldn't even be in his shoes. The amount of pressure he was under. Oh, yeah. Imagine you walk out the game, nigga interview, and this and that. Then oh, you yeah. still got to, then you, you got to go do this. You got to do this. You got to sign this. You got to yeah. take a photo. You got to go do this. You got to do that. Then you still got to go do the sacrifice what he saw behind closed yeah, doors. Exactly. And, you know, so it's like, you like, it's, it's never. You get no rest. Yeah, no rest. No rest. Man. And he showed that, mm -hmm. they showed a glimpse of that in the movie uh, Space Jam. Uh -huh. When the one dude was, I have you fucking slayer for me for thousands of years right, when he yeah, had a chain of yeah, ball yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, you'd be signing autographs uh -huh. all fucking... Uh -huh. They was showing proof that's what he really yeah, be doing. Yeah, he was yeah, a slave. Uh -huh. And, and, and it's it's crazy, the character look like David Stern. Then you see the asshole part like, fuck you nigga. You would think like, there's some spirits coming on his ass, man. He think he the shit because he did all of that. Now he can finally got... Now he finally at the party and boss people around like 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 a child. If you if your parent just boss you around all fucking day, what do you think that child gonna grow up and do? Boss grow up and boss people around. Yeah. That's how he look. He, he doing he, he doing what his daddy do. Yeah. Okay. I had a precept for my head. Um, yeah, yours too. Okay. This is a uh, Psalm seventy three, starting at verse twelve. It says, "Behold, the, these are the ungodly, who's prosper in the world. They increase in riches." Mm. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. Mm. For all the day long have I been played and chastised chastened, chastened every morning. Mm -hmm. If I say <clears throat> I will speak thus, behold, I shall offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High. Then understood, understood I their end. Damn. So I love that, man. Until I went to the sanctuary the most high. Mm -hmm. The sanctuary means holy place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that comfort. He had that comfort. Yeah. That's the, the comfort we know. Yeah. So when we had a vain conversation of the wicked, you know, although it may, you know, it may be enticing at times, like, you know, I need Man, we don't know the spirit of jump up like, nah, that shit ain't really. It's vanity. Temporary. It's temporary. Yeah. You know, the I this should say what? <clears throat> you know, everything we see is temporal. Mm -hmm. Get that real. Said so the uh, the fashion of this world passes away. Okay. So to think even those that it said uh that are ungodly who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. Mm -hmm. You know, these same motherfuckers, um, like going back to the topic, uh uh building the bunkers and shit or the what do they call them? Tuesday, purpose. Right, but like the bomb shelters, oh, the bomb, bomb shelters, shelters, or whatever the case may be, they're doing that shit in vain because little do they know, Lord can have it to where <laughs> he'll do that and then they perish and then the elect will come through and stumble upon it and then mm -hmm. they're set. You know? Goofy. <laughs> so it's like all that for what? Because what are, what are you doing behind closed doors? You know, what is the end for you? Who's to say that you're going to be uh, protected 
in the times to come. Which, some of them, where we know the elites, you know what I'm saying, they're going to be the first batch of slaves in the kingdom. So, <laughs> you know, but, you know, for the other motherfuckers, you know, they're going to be destroyed. Point blank. I got some more. Mm -hmm. Verse 18, it says, Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Mm. Thou casteth them down into destruction. And why they set in slippery places? Because they trust in this system. So when as the system collapse, they're going to slide. As the system slides down to the floor, they're going to slide with it. Mm. They're going to be, oh, shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, fuck. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. Yeah, because it's going what? Downhill. <laughs> yeah, that snow goes downhill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna slip right along with it. When, right. that heat, when that heat hit that snow, nigga, what happened? Everything melts. Yeah. You know? Uh, continue on in verse, uh, <laughs> verse 19. How are they brought into desolation? As in a moment, mm. they are utterly, utterly consumed with terrors. Mm. As a dream when one awakens. So, O oh Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my, my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Damn. You know, I understand it. Uh -huh. yep. And that's symbolic what we're talking about, us looking at Esau and envy and what he have and all of this. But we didn't know. Once we came to the sanctuary of the Lord, we saw that He set Himself in slippery slope. Slippery slope also goes into anything you try to you try to uh, found uh, try to make foundation for yourself outside of the Lord. Uh, you know, it ain't no gray area. You, see, you serve Him or you don't. Uh, you got to think when you build a house, it's the worst thing you can do is build on on a, on a slant mm -hmm. or on a fucking hill. Oh, bro! And since you go to you go to Cincinnati, bro, they built. They build houses. Has a picture on the wall. Let bad rain happen. The house is on the side of it. I don't know if y'all been to Cincinnati, but the house is yeah. on the mountain. Bro. It's on the side of the mountain. Look at Japan. You, you see, they, they houses stay flooded and just get slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's slide. Yeah. Let's get to slide. <laughs> slide. <laughs> what would you build a house on the, on the side of a mountain? Now, in the kingdom, goofy. you know, we're going to be, you know. Right. right. You know, but, you know, now, like, why would you? That's. Or build a house on the side of a fucking volcanic mountain. Yeah. And you proud. That's goofy. Yeah, like, that's goofy. <laughs> that's just goofy. And the mother get the grumbling. Why did this happen? Like, yeah, it happened because you... Bitch, because you were... You worship that, dirt, that dirty <laughs> idol. Like, that's what happened. I'm going to read two more verses. I'm going to end the point in verse 24. Verse 23. Nevertheless, I am content continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterwards, afterward, receive me to glory. Who uh, that right hand? Yep. Yeah. Thou shalt that right hand. That shall receive me to glory, man. That glory is us getting those bodies being delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs twenty three seventeen. Good one, not. Let not thine heart envy sinners, <clears throat> but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, yeah, hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in my way. In the way. Uh, also, like the end the way. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the that's the that's the fulfillment, man. You know, when you when you guide when you uh, listening to the counsel of the Lord, man, get how about shim how shy, man. That's the only way you can be fulfilled, man. Mm -hmm. No matter what riches you have, you know, that's why Solomon, you know, uh, say what he say, give me not too many, yep. you know, too much, too you much. Know, that I'll, you know. I'll forget forget thee. Yeah. 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 Forget, forget thee. Uh, right. Too little so I still become a thief. Exactly, you know. So give me just enough, man. Just enough. You know, the Lord wants us to be content with what we got. Yep. Whether we got little or whether we, you know, and, and we were just talking about that the other day, man, as far as the job situation, man, hey, the job that you got, man, hey, look here, you got to learn how to, you know, adjust and, and, and be content with that, uh -huh. you know, and, and, and do uh, what you got, you know, make do with what you got, man, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? That's it's, what the hey, military teaches, uh -huh. the, uh, mm -hmm. they call it being resourceful, yeah, exactly. having, having uh, ingenuity. Okay. To make something out of nothing. Exactly. You know? 
You bring yeah. to the table, all right, bring everything we got, and you make something out of nothing. You yeah. know? Facts. Yeah. That's hey, a person that's resourceful. That's what it's about. Hey, the best recipes happen out of being resourceful. The best dishes wow. that they eat across the world was people being resourceful. Kind of, exactly. Let's use, let's, use, let's use the example of oxtails. Although it's, it's high as hell, but in the ancient times, in the old times, that was what, uh, a low-cost cut of meat. Absolutely, right? yeah. yeah. But people was being resourceful. Like, exactly. let's take that, get a little onions with it. We can yeah. just do this with yeah. it. Make it straight. Now, yeah, look, not not yeah. you, but I, I ain't never, I ain't heard like 10 years ago, I ain't know oxtails was. Yeah. Ten years ago, I probably knew you probably heard of. Yeah. <laughs> well, chicken wings. That shit wasn't on the main. That shit wasn't on the fucking commercialized market. Yeah, chicken wings. Chicken wings was a poor man's meal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember as a shorty mom to get big bags of chicken wings for dirt cheap. Dirt mm-hmm. cheap, yeah. Because that was something you know, to quick to feed your kids. Yeah, drumsticks. You know, a little cornbread <laughs> wings. <laughs> Fuck up some drumsticks, man. You know, even tacos. Now they get like chicken wings. They call them wing dings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it's popular and commercialized. Now nah, these niggas so wicked. Wing they chop the yeah. wing, the actual wing whole wing in half and sell it in about two parts. The wing dings, yeah. yeah. Man, they call them uh, one chicken. We got the flat. The flat. Yeah, them niggas selling the party flat party and like they wicked. <laughs> wicked as hell, bro. <coughs> Petty. They trying to marketize. What's next? They gonna sell the actual? Uh, what's the other piece of the wing? The like the yeah, yeah, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Yeah, the Achilles. Yeah, like, you know, Achilles. Hey, but you know what? Like, and and what's funny? <laughs> that shit <laughs> costs more than the actual wing. What? The, the, the party wings. The party. Yeah, the party wings. Oh, yeah. The restaurant. Yeah. The flats. Like yes, bro. The flats and the drum. Yeah, but they, it costs. Why? Because it, it's the cut. Yeah, they call. They try to cut. Yeah, they call. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole wing. Give me the whole wing. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me go. I'll break it off myself, man. It used to be the breast that was really expensive. Chicken breast was really expensive because it was lean. And everybody wanted the breast. Same with tacos. Tacos was like a poor man's meal. You take any cut of meat. Marinate it, cook it, however you do it, chop it up real nice. Onion, cilantro, some little fucking nice flatbread or, you know, corn. Voila, that you got You took the fruit. That's a meal. Yeah, that's a meal. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait, bro, because lamb, lamb, lamb ain't commercialized right now. It, it, it's, it, it is, but... Niggas ain't, ain't eating yeah, lamb. No. Niggas ain't eating niggas, lamb, man. bro. They look you crazy. You niggas hate, lamb. bro. I'm like, how the fuck niggas don't know about... Edomites yeah. yeah. know about lamb. Edomites yeah. yeah. know about lamb. <laughs> right. They'll fuck up them yeah. lamb chops. Niggas be quick. like, I remember I buying a lamb for the Passover. What's right. that? Lamb. What you eating lamb? They sell lamb, yeah. Mm-hmm. What you eating lamb? So uh, you want one? It's like, no. How much is it? 75. I'll, 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 I'll. Like, this <laughs> fucking bitch. Big ass <laughs> ham in that part, though. Can I grab that? Uh, you, you grab 23, right? Grab uh, 20, get, Grab 23 at one. Proverbs 23.1. And this is a scripture I didn't understand when I first met it, when I first read it. Go ahead. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and put a knife to thy throat, exactly. if thou be a man given to appetite. Yep. So when you eat, but it's not talking about eating at a table, but it's talking about eating knowledge. If you if you if you supping with a ruler, and consider diligently what's before thee. Because he's a rich man, he's a ruler. Yeah, he you know, you want something out of it. It really means yeah. Esau. Yeah. <laughs> Put a knife in thy throat if I be a man given appetite. I mean, don't eat what he has. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Be not uh, desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Nah, you can't eat with a, th- with a knife in your throat. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but it's, fig- it's figurative. It says, be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. See, uh, meat of discourse, man. Knowledge of discourse. Go ahead. And that's that's like uh, you can attest as well. Esau's business meetings and business plans. It's always a it's a doggy dog world. It's just the cutthroat business, man. Yeah. Those are the ones, back. That exactly. Those are the ones that, that succeed in the business world. The ones that that buy out all the people that's that's hurting, mm-hmm. and they look at it as a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. They labor not. Labor not to be rich. I and mean, that's what happened. A lot of Jays get consumed up in that world because, you know, when you look at these, let's use Jay-Z as an example. He's sitting amongst the tables amongst the, he called the Blue Bloods. You know, uh, Warren Buffett and these, you know, them, them devils. You know, they looking at him like, nigga, you still are just a, a dirty nigga from the hood that rap. Yes. But, you know, in his mind, he think like, oh, I came up. I'm yeah. sitting amongst the rocks, you know. The Warren Buffett, the Bill Gates. It's, it's the same niggas that sat at, at Esau's table in slavery. Oh, I'm better than them niggas. Oh, I got yeah. a suit on. Yeah. I got the white gloves. I got the suit. Still Look at me. Room. I'm right next to Esau. I'm Still right next nigga. to Massive. Yeah. Still, nigga. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he made a song about it. He's yeah. still a nigga. Still a nigga. And a cool. <laughs> and a cool. But still yeah, that song, that that song was basically like, okay, we all still niggas, but serve the serve uh serve Esau. You can be a better you can live deliciously being a nigga. Mm-hmm. Fuck out of here. He's just a rich nigga. That's it. He's just a rich nigga. That's it. That's what <laughs> that, the song that's is more, about. That's, that's really more uh nigga. confused mm-hmm. than the public. Nigga. Nigga. At least the Pope motherfucker know, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. He he um, yeah, exactly. You know, you you don't you don't think that way, why? Because you over your people. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Now you you looking down on your, at your own people. You see what I'm saying? You think you on the same level as Esau. Absolutely. You're not. And that's right. what you got. It. Then, like I say, then like you in bigger bondage because you trying not to lose that status you already yeah, exactly. have. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you got to realize, you got, that's why Moses was such a, exactly, yeah. a mighty exactly. figure yeah, in exactly. the scriptures yeah. because yeah. he was, he was, he was, Technically, Prince of Egypt. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He was yeah. Pharaoh. He was considered his Pharaoh's son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he like, man, fuck all that, man. I'm gonna serve the Lord of my people. Hey, hey, hey yeah, how was y'all? Yeah. He was offered the, the you know, yeah. the king. You know what I'm saying? He was offered, you know, world, at that man. time. You know what I'm saying? But he turned it down. Like, hey, this ain't my time right now. That's right. You no. Know? Hey, even with Joseph. Joseph, <laughs> yeah. when he came up, he looked out for his brothers. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He ain't like, man. You know, after his brothers did him wrong, he mm-hmm. could have been like, man. Fuck y'all niggas, man. You know, I'm the prince now. Consecutive, man. You know, but he like, no. This is my family, bro. This is my brothers. This is my, 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 my dad. Like, I gotta go. Hey, we finna go eat good. I'm the <laughs> prince, B. Like, go. It's like a righteous child. A righteous child really never look to get revenge because they understand. Yeah. You know? Fed them in the times of famine. Yeah. God. Verse 5, it says, Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? <laughs> For riches certainly make themselves wings. Mm. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. <laughs> That's mighty. <laughs> Damn. It's an easy thing for the Lord to make a poor man rich. Mm-hmm. It's an easy thing. Like, very like. That shit like. You see much J. Oh, yeah. Uh, they call it, uh, you see them rich athletes, bad investments, not a nigga poke. Mm-hmm. Working a regular Just job. Like that. that was good. Uh, Antoine Walker. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all got anything? Nah. Okay. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting unto you. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory again unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles and the elders. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.